Hello my fellow musician friends and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is all for my beginner piano players out there. It's how to play the F major scale and why it's a little bit trickier than the other scales. Let's run that intro! All right, so before we go over to the piano where I could show you how to play the F major scale, I want to tell you about the links I'm, I'm putting in the description box below. They are other scales from previous piano videos I put out there. They explain a little bit more in detail for those who need to know like how to orient themselves with the piano, what fingering they may need to use. If you don't understand any of those terms, you'll learn them from the links below. The absolute biggest difference between this scale compared to say a C major or a D major, G major, is that the fingering is slightly different with the right hand than it is with any of the other scales. And with that now being said, let's head over to the piano and I'll show you how to play it. If you've seen any of my previous piano scales and the lessons, um, I always show you the fingering and where to start for all beginners. Uh, if you haven't seen those, I'll put the links below so you can um, reference them and this one's a little bit trickier so first let's start with where the F note is well this is middle C on this piano so the octave below is this C just count up from C D E and F okay so we're gonna start here and this key signature has one flat in it it's B flat right here Okay, so instead of uh, like in C major, you, you would just play all the white keys in the musical alphabet on the piano from C to C. You can't just play from this F to this F because there's one flat in the key signature and you'll hear it, you know, it'll probably sound wrong to you if you just play up all the white keys. F. Right there is a B natural. It's not in the key. You have to play the B flat for the F major scale. So, we're gonna start with the left hand. The five finger, pinky. Okay, you're gonna go five, four, three, two, one, cross, three, two, one. So I just played F to F with the B flat in the scale, in the key signature. Now I'm gonna play it back down. It's one, two, three, tuck. One, two, on the B flat, three, four, five. So it's If that was tricky for you, that's okay, especially if you're just starting out and learning this scale. However, the right hand it gets a little bit trickier. It's a different fingering than any any of the other scales we covered so far. We're going to play it up here this octave, okay? I'm starting on my one finger, my thumb. However, you cannot tuck the way you normally do on this black key. It just gets a little awkward. You get kind of stumble over your own fingers there. It just, it's nearly impossible <laughs> to play that up the regular fingering. So instead, you're gonna do a little bit of a unique fingering here. It's one, two, three, Four on the B flat, you're gonna tuck a little bit wider than normal to the C. Two, three, and four. So you're ending on the four finger. This scale with your right hand has no pinky. You leave out the five finger, the pinky. So to play it again, it's one, two, three, four on the B flat, tuck, one on the C, two on the D, three on the E, and four on the F. On the way down, you're still not gonna play the pinky. Four, three, two, one, cross over with the four finger on the B flat. Four, three, two, one. Here's the whole thing up and down without breaking. Okay. I'm kind of sitting a little bit awkward so that the <laughs> camera can get uh, the, the fingering for you. Um, so it's a little bit, I can't really play with both hands here, um, but 
I want you to see, again, the left hand alone, it's this. And back down. Remember, you use all five fingers with the left hand. The right hand again. All right, and that's how you play an F major scale. Now, I know it's a little tricky with the right hand compared to the left hand and not using your pinky. So I would advise you to start slow so that you can play the scale with both hands simultaneously. If you start slow, you're, you're able to get that coordination you need to play it and then build up speed after that. So, my fellow piano players, if you have any questions out there, please leave it in the comment section below. I'm always on here responding when I can to all of you and I love your feedback. So thank you for all of that. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a single video. Every week I'm putting out a new video for you here, whether it's a free music lesson, a product review, or a performance-based video. It's all happening every Wednesday. I appreciate you being here so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next week.